COVID-19 vaccines, a key question is emerging. How many of us will need to get them for Vermont and the nation to return to anything resembling business as usual? Local 44's Devin Bates joins us live in the newsroom with more about that tonight. Devin? Yeah, Mike, state officials prefaced this conversation today by saying that it's still far too early to make a judgment call on whether a COVID-19 vaccination should be made mandatory at any level, but they did comment on the threshold Vermont will need to reach for a vaccine to be effective in containing COVID-19. It's going to be important uh, for us once we determine uh, that there are some safe vaccines out there uh, that uh, we ask Vermonters to to, to do this voluntarily because we don't get above a certain uh, percentage. It's just not effective uh, to, uh, to counteract uh, this virus. According to the World Health Organization, countries will need to have at least 60% of the population vaccinated to achieve any kind of herd immunity against the virus. State Health Commissioner Dr. Mark Levine said Vermont should be aiming for the 70% range. We know that there are not going to be large numbers of Vermonters who have already acquired some immunity on their own uh, by coming in contact with this virus. So the vaccine will have to, in a parallel pathway, add to that number. During a Friday media briefing, WHO officials said that in some situations, it may be more useful to target certain groups for vaccination instead of immunizing the entire population. We've seen in many clusters that only 20% of the cases go on to, to transmit to others, 80% don't transmit to anybody else. We've seen super spreading events, certain contexts and certain groups who mix and the disease can explode. So it may be that it will take some very clever vaccination strategies to highly target people in our society who are more likely to carry, transmit and super spread with this virus. But when Vermonters begin to get vaccinated and their lives return to relative normalcy, how can they prove that they have in fact been vaccinated? Dr. Levine was asked about the possibility of state-issued cards to certify that. If you were going to have a policy of giving somebody a card, you'd have to know what exactly that card meant. Because uh, just showing a date of vaccination may, may not be sufficient. If you get the um, vaccine, we would probably want to prove that you have antibodies that your body has now generated that could fight off the virus if you got exposed to it. Dr. Levine also mentioning today that he took part in a call with a number of hospitals that informally surveyed whether or not their staff would get a vaccine. Now, 50 to 60 percent said they would. That's not a huge vote of confidence, but Dr. Levine was happy with that. He said it's a good sign that many people would take vaccines right now, considering there's still not much information available about them during their clinical trials. Live in the newsroom tonight, Devin Bates, Local 44 News.